what are the risks involved with uh, you know not using a secure registry uh, such as the one provided by Mirante's secure registry? There's a number of different factors, right? So let's start with the actual container image itself. Um, now, the convenience that you get when you start um, using um, a pre-built containers is that one is not always entirely sure of what goes inside the containers. So one of the, the features that Chris mentioned for the Mirante secure registry is the scanning functionality, right? So um, let's take the recent log4j vulnerability that was exposed, right? So with something like Mirante secure registry, once your container images are put into the registry, we then go through and look at all the different layers to ensure that nothing like the log4j vulnerability is actually contained within your image. So that's the one thing, right? So first thing is you now know that whatever you're actually using to build your containers is actually secure and there's no vulnerabilities. Now take that and start packaging all of the security aspects around that, right? The access into the, the, um, the registry. You wanna make sure that only those that are um, authorized to access your images are actually doing so. So you don't get a third party attack to inject anything unwanted into your environment. And the third, fact, the third factor of this one is um, making sure that whatever images you're actually executing within your environments are essentially what they are, right? So they're authorized and they're verified. So the signing with Notary um, in, ensures that whatever image you're actually testing in your low environments is actually the exact same image that you're deploying onto your upper environments and into production. And you can set up the, um, you can set up the runtime as well to ensure with content trust that only things that are authorized and signed can be executed with your environments. So this way, once your workload is being deployed into production, you know that A, there's no vulnerabilities inside, only those that are authorized to touch the container images are doing so, and what you're deploying is exactly what you think you're deploying.